Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jesser DL, and welcome to the Alliance Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to talk about mode group data. We are going to discuss mode group data. I know all of you are excited. Let's start. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss mode group data. Discuss mode group data. Number two, Solve for the value of mode group data. Solve for the value of mode group data. Always remember, try and try until you succeed. Please do not lose hope. Always remember, try and try until you succeed. Keep on trying. Do not lose hope. What is mode? Mode, it is the value that appears most frequently in a data set. Again. Mode, it is the value that appears most frequently in a data set. What is the formula for mode group data? The formula for mode group data is mode is equal to L plus the quantity of D sub 1 over D sub 1 plus D sub 2 multiplied by I, where L is the lower class boundary. D sub 1 is equal to the highest frequency minus the frequency above it. Then D sub 2, highest frequency minus the frequency below it. And I is the class interval. Interval, again, L is equal to the lower class boundary. D sub 1 is equal to the highest frequency minus the frequency above it. Number 2, D sub 2 is equal to highest frequency minus the frequency below it. Then I is equal to the class interval. I know all of you are excited. Let's start to solve the mode of the given example. This is the given example. There are five females who belong to 21 to 25 years old. Eight females belong to 26 to 30 years old. Seven females belong to 31 to 35 years old. Six females belong to 36 to 40 years old. Nine females belong to 41 to 45 years old. Then five females belong to 46 to 50 years old. Two females belong to 51 to 55 years old. Now, how do we solve or what are the processes in solving for the mode group data? First step, find the highest frequency. We will be looking for the highest frequency. On this given example, the highest frequency is 9. On this given example, the highest frequency is 9. Next step. Find the value of D sub 1. Find the value of D sub 1. How do we get the value of D sub 1 again? Highest frequency minus the frequency above it. Highest frequency, D sub 1 is equal to the highest frequency minus the, the frequency above it. And that is 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. D sub 1 is equal to 9 minus 6. That is 3. Next step, find the value of D sub 2. Find the value of D sub 2. How do we find the value of D sub 2? That is highest frequency minus the frequency below it. Highest frequency minus the frequency below it. That is 9 minus 5. It's 4. D sub 2 is equal to 9 minus 5 and that is equal to 4. Next one, find the value of the lower class boundary. How do we find the lower class boundary? We will be looking for the class limit, lower class limit for each class. Then we will be subtracting by 0.5. So on this given example, we have 21 minus 0.5. That is 20.5. 26 minus 0.5. 25.5. 31 minus 0.5. 30.5. 36 minus 0 0.5, 35.5. 41 minus 0 0.5, 40.5. 46 minus 0 0.5, 45.5. 51 minus 0 0.5, 50.5. That is how do we get the value for the lower class boundary. Then what is the lower class boundary of 9? The lower class boundary of 9 or the highest frequency is 40.5. We will be getting the lower class boundary of the highest frequency, and that is 40.5. Next, find the class interval. Find the class interval. 
what is the class interval? We will be counting 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And there are five intervals. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And that is the class interval. We all have the values that we need in order for us to solve for the value of mode. Our next step is to substitute these values on the given formula. Let's start. These are the values that we need. So we will be substituting the lower class boundary, which is 40.5. D sub 1 is 3. D sub 1 is 3. D sub 2 is 4. Then the, cla the class interval is 5. What's the first step? Add 3 and 4. What is 3 plus 4? 3 plus 4, that is 7. Add 3 plus 4, that is 3 plus 4, 7. Next, divide, then multiply, then add. We will be dividing 3 divided by 7 times 5 plus 40.5. Again, 3 divided by 7 plus times 5 plus 40.5. 3 divided by 7, multiplied by 5, then plus 40.5. The value for the mode is 42.64. That's why the mode for the female respondents is 42.64. The mode of the age bracket of the female respondents is 42.64. Let's have another example. Given... Age bracket for males, and these are the frequencies. What are the steps? The first one, find the highest frequency. We will be looking for the highest frequency, and that is 22. The, the highest frequency on the male respondents is 22. Next step, find the value of D sub 1. Find the value of D sub 1. D sub 1 is equal to the highest frequency minus the frequency above it. Highest frequency minus the frequency above it. And that is 7. 22 minus 7, that is 15. Highest frequency minus the score or minus the frequency above it. That is 22 minus 7. And that is 15. Next, find the value of D sub 2. D sub 2 is highest frequency minus the frequency below it. Highest frequency minus the frequency below it. 22 minus 8, that is 14. Highest frequency minus the, the frequency below it. 22 minus 8, that's 14. Next one, find the value of the lower class boundary. We did this one a while ago. The lower class boundary of the highest frequency is 40.5, that is 22. Okay, the highest frequency is 22. And the lower class boundary of 22 is 40.5. Class interval, we count from 41 to 45. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. That's why the interval is 5. We now have the values that we need in order for us to solve for the value of mode. Let's now try to substitute these values on the given formula. Okay. We now have mode is equal to the lower class boundary, which is 40.5, plus, that is, D sub 1, 15, then D sub 2 is 14, the class interval is 5. The first step, add 15 and 14. 15 plus 14, that is 29. 15 plus 14, 29. Next step, divide, multiply, then add. We divide 15 by 29, 15 divided by 29, multiply by 5, plus 40.5. Again, 15 divided by 29, multiply by 5, plus 40.5. And the answer is 43.09. 15 divided by 29, multiply by 5, plus 40.5. The mode for the male respondents is 43.09. As simple as that. I hope you were able to follow our simple instructions, our simple processes in order for us to get the answer for the mode. Always remember everyone, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem there is a solution. Mathematics will always remind us that in every problem there is 
a solution. Keep on moving forward. Keep on fighting. God bless you all. Thank you for watching, everyone. God bless you all. See you on our next tutorial.